Good morning, how is everybody doing? So I'm back, I took some time off. I made a post there on the YouTube community tab of uh, what was going on, but I think a lot of people missed that. I also do uh, nearly daily updates on Patreon uh, if you're wondering what's going on, but I've just been uh, really tired, so I came back to Canada to rest up and try to get better. I feel like my health is at a solid 80% now, maybe 80% is a new 100%. I'm still trying to figure it out, but ready to get back into action and uh, this morning I'm gonna make some air fried dog treats so I think I'm gonna need a dog to uh, eat those so this is the newest van lifer on YouTube she's a Jack Russell Terrier about 11 weeks old now I named her Rocco I always liked that cartoon and the name just stuck with me it's kind of a male sounding name though but I think she'll grow up uh, tough with a handle like that a lot of people warn me that Jack Russell Terriers can be complete maniacs, but I'm lucky that I can be with her uh, full time and uh, take her on big hikes. So there's no excuses that I can't give her all the attention that she needs. She already does have so much energy, and a moment like this is kind of a rare thing. If I let her run a marathon, she would probably do it. I think overall, a Jack Russell was the best choice for a small, agile, and intelligent dog, and uh, we should have a lot of fun together. I'm just going to do a half recipe, so three quarter cups of flour, half an egg, I'll just scramble up the rest for breakfast, then eighth a cup of this pure pumpkin, there's no sugar or anything else in here, then a tablespoon of peanut butter, then uh, just some water to tie it all together. It smells like pee. I think it's his toy. Did you pee on it? You peed on everything else in here. So we're going to air fry 375. Seven minutes. Biscuits. Look good. Shake hands. Yes. <laughs> Not too sure about that, are you? I think Rocco gives that a 4 out of 10. She's not crazy about it, but she'll eat it. Rocco! I wanted a dog for the longest time. There's a lot of challenges to go along with it, but overall I think it's worth it. I think it's probably part of the reason why I'm feeling healthier lately. There used to be a drawer down here, but I converted it over into a crate. Let's pull this out. So now everyone getting groceries, she can go in there. She hates it right now, but hopefully uh, she warms up to it and realizes that it's just a temporary thing while I'm out because uh, I don't trust her to be running around the van when I'm not here. She's still not house trained and she likes to chew on everything. She's also a useful addition to the van. She helps clean the floor, wash dishes, and she's a third source of heat as well. I know you're not supposed to take puppies on huge demanding hikes, so I've been trying to get her comfortable riding in my backpack. And she also doesn't like the cold very much, so once she uh, is fully grown, I'll get a good insulated jacket for her. But it's a nice warm day today, and uh, I found the easiest mountain around, so let's see if we can get her first summit under her belt. Ready? 
I can heat up this water before I go and I'll put the bottle in my backpack and if she has to ride in there it'll help keep her warm but if it uh if it's too cold if it's too much for her we'll just turn around you gotta keep a close eye on her too there could be cougars and coyotes out there that's not good eh I've been hiking with her like this every day just trying to get her used to it and she's pretty comfortable sometimes she even falls asleep but if this works then I can keep doing all the same types of mountains that I was doing before she's not too keen on walking on the snow so I'll shortcut up through the grass and see if we can get her going again because we're almost there this is a really short hike if free ride is over, you gotta start doing some work. This is Forestry Forest Boot Camp. Get to it. I started feeling tired at the end of summer. I was wondering whether or not I should even go to the States. I kept it rolling. It was after the White Mountain hike that I felt like I seriously needed to go to a hospital, but instead I did two more pretty big hikes. And after that, I was just completely ruined. I was having symptoms that were comparable to like uh, a serious carbon monoxide poisoning. So I had a mild panic that I'd been uh, poisoning myself inside the van. So I picked up a second monitor. It's always come out clear. So yeah, I think I was just really, really tired and it's taken me a while to pull myself together. Rocco has been doing great. Once the snow melts, it warms up. If she gets a little older, she'll have a lot more fun, but it's important that she's uh, comfortable with this. So that's the summit of Swansea Mountain, Rocco's very first uh, summit. And she's got the shivers. I think she's ready to go back to the van, so we should get moving. It's been about two and a half hours. We should be back to the van shortly. I think she's had just about enough. It's a good length of a hike until uh, it starts to warm up a bit more. So that's basically Rocco, a complete lunatic in the making. They say not to take puppies for big hikes, but she just wants to go and go and there's no holding her back. But I'm just going to get the fire going and enjoy my night. And uh, I think that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching and thank you to Patreon supporters. And I will see you soon.